Happy Easter to all of you. We can still say that. We're in the sixth week of Easter, and the beauty and the power and the truth of Easter is so remarkable and so at the center of our faith that the church gives us a whole, really, eight weeks to celebrate. So in the sixth week of Easter, we're moving towards the Feast of the Ascension and then Pentecost, which ends the Easter season. So I just want to reflect this week on what are the implications of the resurrection? Why is Easter the cornerstone of our faith? And what does it matter in my life? Firstly, the resurrection of Jesus promises us eternal life. We are going to live forever. And if we are faithful to Christ in this age, if in this life we seek to do God's will and we practice the faith and we celebrate the sacraments and we have that life of Christ in us and we're serious about pursuing uh, holiness, becoming saints, we have the promise that we will live with God forever and ever. So that the first gift of the resurrection is Jesus opens for us the gates of life, the gates of heaven, and promises us that we will live forever in communion with the Trinity and with the saints and with each other. That should get us up and dancing because what else matters besides that? So the real question is not what am I going to do next year or in two months or tomorrow or even an hour from now. The real question is where do I want to be a billion years from now? And of course we want to be with God. So resurrection is important. It's at the center. St. Paul says if Christ is not raised from the dead, we are still lost in death and trapped in our sins. Hallelujah. Christ is risen and we will live forever with him. Get up and dance.